Welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining me. What I'm going to be making for you today is blueberry jam jams. Jam jams is one of my childhood favorite cookies. Um, you can add any sort of jam in them. I'm going to be using blueberry jam today. You, it, uh, it could be strawberry or whatever your favorite will be. So now what we'll do is tell you a few of the ingredients we'll be using. Now I'm going to be showing you a few of the ingredients. We're going to have two and a half cup of white flour. You can use wheat. We're going to have one large egg. We're going to have three quarters of a cup of butter, unsalted. We're going to have a teaspoonful of cinnamon, a teaspoonful of ginger, a teaspoonful of baking soda, and we're going to have a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of molasses. Okay, so we're going to add three quarters of a cup of room temperature butter. Make sure it's all in there. We're going to be using a half a cup of molasses, which is very difficult to come out of your containers. Definitely molasses is also room temperature, so you can get it out easy because it'll run thick. Start creaming this together. We're going to have the one cup of brown sugar and I got dark brown sugar there but you could use light if you wish. Brown makes it nice and dark. And then we're going to be adding one large egg and I'm going to just put it into a container first just to mix it around. So you will add that egg into your mixture. So now you're going to start mixing that around as well. So next we're going to add in all of, well, our spices. We're going to be putting it into our mixture. I say all of our spices, but it's just the two and the baking soda. So we're going to mix that around. So now we're going to sift in our flour just to get all of the little lumps out of there. Okay, so now that's done. We'll just put the sifter to the side. Now I'm going to mix all this together. So basically what we're doing here now, we're making a dough for our cookies. After, once we, we mix this, this together, we're going to have to use our hand to blend the rest of it because um, we're not making a batter, we're making a dough that's, so as we can make our cookies. So I'm going to put my spoon to the side. Now I'm going to use my hand and we'll start mixing it together until it forms a dough. Okay, so that's done nicely now and it's going to look something like this. So what I'm going to do now is spread a little bit of flour on my counter. I'm going to put this dough onto it and I'll show you. We're forming into little balls to start making our cookies. Okay, so now that we got our dough on the counter, we're going to take off about one inch balls. I'm just going to roll it. Um, you can flatten it with a fork, but I just don't want the creases on top because jam jams is, is flat on one side and a little puffy on the other. Um, and basically, um, what we're going to do, uh, the reasons for that is two of these cookies together and with jam in the middle, so it's kind of layered. Um, so a little ball like this. Have it about an inch apart so they don't stick together in the, in the oven. And continue making these little balls. Put it on your cookie tray. We're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And we're going to bake it for about 10 to 12 minutes just until it starts to form and get a little golden brown. Okay, so now we got them, uh, our little cookies rolled. Um, I got 14 um, cookies rolled there. It's probably going to make about 30 cookies, which will be 15 once they're layered. So I'm going to put it in my oven now for about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, and I'll see you back here in a few. this kitchen um, our cookies are done so there I let them cool for about 10 minutes um, after I take them out of the oven because you don't want to um, have these hot right out of the oven because what will happen is you will uh, you will be able to take them off your tray all right so we're going to take two of these and we're going to place here on our plate 
and then you're going to take them and turn them upside down so that the fluffy part or the big part is on the bottom and we're going to take a small bit of jam and put in the middle as such and then when you complete it there you don't need a, a, a lot of jam you put the other one on top and it would look something like this so you're going to continue doing that until you've made all of your jam jams so I just done three there right now and I just want to talk a little bit about the dough itself I only used half of my dough and I got the other portion in a freezer bag that I'm going to freeze for later um, the jam you're you're probably wondering well how am I going to get blueberry jam um, you can check uh, one of my videos on YouTube and I'll show you how to make blueberry jam and um, make sure when you do make it you let it cool totally and set before you make your jam jams. So this batch of dough would make um, 30 cookies which would be 15 jam jams. So remember that uh, share this recipe with your family and friends. I'll be posted on YouTube. Um, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to Bonita's Kitchen. It's on the top right hand corner of your screen. Um, or subscribe to my email and uh, I will send you one of these recipes each time that we put one up. Um, thank you for joining me for Bonita's Kitchen. I hope this episode of Blueberry Jam Jams were helpful. You have a wonderful day.